What's going on guys, I'm Drift here and today in this video we're going to be doing something a bit different than what you would normally see me do We're in fact going to be doing a what's in my camera bag video, so um, let's get right on to it Right, so Here we have my bag, this is the Low Pro Vertex AW300 I've had it for a year and a, uh, just over a year I think it's just about a year or a lot over a year But anyway, I've had it for just a year and it has been an absolute tanky bag. It's come everywhere I've gone except um, in a few jobs. But other than that, it's pretty much my my go-to bag as well as my Mantona Road Light, which I'll do another video on and how I pack that. Cause I pack that one sort of differently. So um, yeah. So the bag, if you're wondering, it's three hundred and twenty-nine pounds on Amazon as well as on the actual Lopro website. It does conform with international airline carry on regulations, so there is that. Uh, carry on for me is not going to be that much of a big deal because I'm not flying anywhere. Uh, it's not so much of my Friday planes, it's more the fact that I don't trust the security people. Um, that and they treat your luggage like shit anyway, so um, yeah, this would be coming with me. So, in these pockets you can pretty much keep your odds and sods, so business cards, um, extra batteries, tickets, whatever, memberships, uh, forks in my case. I do a lot of eating out, so I always have a fork or spoon or something in there. Uh, you can keep actual stuff in here, like uh, envelometers, remote controls for, say, your, uh, what's it called again, uh, remote shutter release so you could have that. I had one, it was a Nikon MCDC2 for the D3100 and I lost it when I crashed my bike so um, yeah that explains that one. In uh, this I normally keep my business cards but I don't have them in the bag just now. This here is just a cloth that I keep in there. Uh, I normally keep like keys or whatever in there, sometimes pens. And here I normally keep anything but today it is business cards so um, yeah this is pretty much what business card looks like see <laughs> uh, you're not going to see the front part though here are a few spares that's just for just the batteries I normally put them in the batteries flat so I know which one's which this is the back for the D70, just to protect it, any knocks or bumps or scratches, just protects the screen. Uh, these pockets here are mainly for your storage, so you can have like your CF cards, SD cards, XQD cards, um, any card you want in there. It's the smallest pocket ever and it is absolutely useless, although you could probably keep up an Action Man SD card in or something like that, a Barbie him. Uh, this part here, you can keep a laptop in there, up to about a 17 inch, but I've had about an 18 inch in this bag. This part actually gets used for anything other than a laptop, so it's mostly a case of if it fits, it goes in. So I've had like jackets in here, I've had work vests in here, um, I've had all sorts, so yeah, no point in opening that up. On the... Uh, this part of the bag is where I normally keep all my odds and sods, so just trim that a bit better. So, on this side, I normally keep like pockets, so it'll be plastic bags, just like that. Uh, wallet normally goes in this part, anything goes in this part, and nothing ever really goes in that part. On this part, I keep. Um, you find this for some reason, uh, story behind that. But this is the main part of the bag which I use most of the time. So, this here is my start off from this. This is my Nikon 28mm 2.8D lens. Uh, there you go, there's a little close up of it. Uh, well, some sort of close up, but anyway, that's this is one of my landscape lenses as well as uh, photojournalism lenses I like to use. Underneath that we have the 55 200mm. This was the second lens I owned with that. 
So it's a sort of kit lens batch. You got the 1855 with this. Although this has served me good over the years. It's just sort of tossed into the bag um, whenever I see fit. Really, most of the time it's just lying about my room gathering dust. Here we have my two flash guns. These are Yongyo 562 speedlights. Multi-directional, as you can see. Wee, look at that, you can turn it around, bounce some off your walls and whatnot. But these are, are the way I rock these is one goes for that, the other one goes for that. So I have to pack them underneath each other and there you can basically customise them parts so you can have like a 70 to 200 or 2470 in there, um, whatever. But this is where I keep my flashes. Um, in there is where I normally keep the camera, the camera, the camera that I'm actually recording on right now. Then in this part here, we have the Hitachi HDSV Zero One U. First extra camera. I use that still because uh, it records at a true 60 frames per second. This is the latest edition. This is the SG Four Thousand. Uh, this is what I pretty much use in my commutes and um, whatnot. I love this little camera, that's the second one. This is where I keep all my cards, so uh, as you can see there, CF cards, SD cards. Don't really go into any detail. My Giotto's rock air to blow any like um, dust or specs. Do that. That goes up there. The cage for the SG4000. This also works as a dash cam as well. The 518D, this is my favourite lens actually, I use that for most portraits. This here is the 3518G, I use this for more photojournalism stuff, it's good focal length as well for street photography. My TTL cord, which I use with the flashes as well, so that gets used a lot. Then you've got obviously the batteries, so two batteries for each. Especially when they're flying at your hands. So, um, there we go. There you have it. Uh, lens caps, they're pretty much self explanatory. Then we have. Let me just. There, there we go. And then we have the. D70 with the Tamron 70 300mm. This is one of my workhorses. This lens and body combination. It's a really good combination, if you want to call it that. This one takes the CF cards if you're not, if you don't know you're wearing an SLR or you're just getting into photography. Uh, if you're looking at going full frame or if you've got gigantic hands, uh, this is a good practice over full frame. Uh, 6.1 megapixels, but you know what? I love this camera. This camera can keep up with me modern day SLRs like your D7000, your D70, well your Canon your 70D and whatnot. Um, so that goes up there. Tamron as well is a bargain in a lens if you can get it. It's gone up in price so, so um, just watch out for that. Uh, my first SLR if you want to call it that. I absolutely love this camera. It still gets used on a regular basis for wide angle. Still gets used in photojournalism as well. Um, it's just an absolute bestial lens, especially with the 18-55 on it. I know it's your standard kit lens, but it's just an absolute tanky lens if you know how to use it correctly, and if you're not afraid to push it beyond its limits. So this pretty much gets used in all weather, rain, hail, sleet, or whatever. Uh, it's been rained on a few times, including that, and it still works, so um, I love it. This is the Mikey battery grip as well. Uh, one thing I do always do is sometimes I put my logo on there just in case it gets lost or something. So it's handy to have. Uh, this, by the way, takes the SD cards, so that just goes there. And that's obviously the tripod adapter for the SG4000. This is a QR slider, as I like to call it. There you go, slider. This, by the way, will fit in GoPro mounts as well. And there you have it, the entire bag emptied. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and 
I'll get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, check out my website, Um I've also got a referral code for if you want to start up your own website. It gives you 20% off your initial sign-up price. And I think you're yeah, first renewal, but I could be wrong on that. But anyway, you get your discount, and I get a discount, so it's a one-win situation type thing. Um, but yeah, this, is, this sums up my first video um and i will catch you a lot in the second video see ya